hospital port as pride and dignity stop the new world order. Welcome to Her Panwo TV. Never before have those words of defiance and freedom echoed so hollow and meaningless at the site I'm seeing now. As you see, this is a building site. Company here. Company here is making it. They're building something here. But that's not what that building was. Until a couple of years ago, this is what it was. The Radcliffe Infirmary in County Hospital. And they've even got they've even got the old this old thing here. For the support of the hospital, the old money box, the donation box. They haven't closed it actually, so you can still put money in. You put money in there to support a hospital that's been shut for about five years. Yeah. As you see, it's a very old building. This is uh this is one of, we're coming to the oldest part. I'll show you I'll show you it now because um this is a listed building. In fact, this, it's the only part of the hospital they haven't knocked down because it is listed. There it is, you see? Big crane up there, piles of bricks. In the middle, there used to be a, there used to be a statue in the middle of there and a fountain, and that was the entrance to the main entrance to the hospital, was just there, where my finger is now. This was the Radcliffe Infirmary, the RI, as it's known locally. It was Oxford's, it was actually Oxford's primary hospital until, well, until the John Radcliffe was built in the sort of 1970s. Um, really, what's, what's happened is it's been shut now. It's, it's, a, it's a real end of an era because this hospital is, was 250 years old when it shut, so 280 years old. And it's all gone. There's just this left to see it and the old chapel there, you see. I never served at this hospital, I was always a John Radcliffe reporter, but uh, I knew several, lots of people who did, and I used to come down, down here to see them. And the place had a lovely atmosphere, I mean, it was like um, a sort of really sort of homely, traditional, innocent, sort of like um, warm atmosphere. And it had, its, it, had, it had a kind of atmosphere like you were in a carry-on film, and I... Um, Honestly, I half expected to see Kenneth Williams or Hattie Jakes come around the corner, you know, one of the medical carry-on films. There you see, this is the uh, few pictures from inside. So like I say, so they shut it down. Well, why did they shut it down? Well, it was all part of what was called the Headington strategy. What they did was, they, um, the, the Oxford has changed since this place was built. I mean, really, when this was built, uh, the city itself only covered what's now central Oxford and Headington Cowley were outlying villages. The population was minuscule compared to what it is today. Now, you know, over three quarters of the people in Oxford now live east of the river. And that's, that's where they put the big hospital. They opened the Churchill in 1941 and the John Radcliffe in 1973. Now, this is really... Uh, Quite something. There was a, they, someone's written a book about this. Actually, it's quite a nice book about the old Radcliffe. Like I said, it's it's um, 250 year old hospital. It closed until five years ago, and it shut. What they've done is they've moved all they've moved all the facilities that were at the RI up to the John Radcliffe and Churchill sites. So basically, those that, what was what was here has been split between the two sites, and those sites have been made bigger. Now then, what they make, what they're going to build here? Now I heard, I heard they were going to build a. This is the, uh, this is the, these are the pictures here. You see, what they're building, and they can poke through. Actually, there's a proper place you can actually look through. So they've got an observation point. It's going to be called the Radcliffe Observatory Quarter, and you can actually see the building here. I came here yesterday and filmed, but it wasn't very good because. There are too many people about, but here you see it's now today Saturday and it's now empty. Mm. So yeah, I mean the thing about it is, I mean, it, in a way, I mean really the ho the hospital really needed to go because its facilities, its location was wrong. I mean, there's no, you know, as the as times change and the city has grown, its location was in a very inconvenient kind of location, and um, it was too small for really for what it needed the, for the facilities that were there. And um, you know, really, it needed replacing. It's a shame. It's sad because it was a lovely old hospital. Um, 
Also, you see, it was costing money because basically the, it's on university land and the hospital's basically been paying rent to the university for 250 years. And basically what's happened is the university have taken back this land now. As you see, it's got a, they've actually got their logo on it. It's going to be the Mathematical Institute. Right. I heard, what I heard originally was they were going to build a hospital on here. That was, just, that was what I was told. I was going, they were going to build another hospital. It was going to be a research, medical research centre. In other words, um, it was going to still, it, it would have been good if that happened because then it would still be a hospital of sorts. I mean, it would only, it would only kind of like, um, it would only admit research cases, not general clinical cases, but it would still be a hospital. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick walk down here because there's something interesting else I want to show you. There's a little pathway. See, that's the building site there, and this fence marks the gap between the public street and the building site. I'll go down here. We come to what we have on our right is Green Templeton College, and there's a little story behind that I want to tell you. That's it. That's it. See, the building's taking shape. It's getting bigger and bigger. Cranes and everything in use. Now, if you look here, you'll see something strange. You'll see here. That dome, that green dome there, is actually an observatory. It's actually a, um, a telescope for astronomy. You go further down here, you see, I see, you see another building looming out from behind the trees, a very strange building. It's this tower here. Hmm. Hello. Uh, no, thank you, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Get a picture of this well, this is this is a public street, mate. Yeah. This is a public street. Yeah, this is the public street, but that one is the green college. Yeah, no, I'm not actually in. I'm not actually in the college filming. You see, <laughs> I'm not actually in the college filming. It's different. Okay. All right, see you later. Unbelievable. Anyway, see as you see here, that is the that there is this tower. Now, there's an interesting story associated with that. I'll tell you, but that is Green Templeton College, and you see this. Um, this building here is um, a lot newer than many of the other buildings you see in Oxford. It's, uh, it's, I reckon it's probably built by the same time as the old hospital, sort of 18th, 19th century. Um, so you see some strange symbolism on top of it. You see, uh, well, I'll have to go to another area to have a better look at it, but um, why have I brought this up, would you think? Why do you, why do you think I've brought this up? Well, that's a long story, which I will explain. Um, but first I've got to, it's, it's a bit of a personal story, all right, and I'm not, I'm not yet sure whether I want to tell it or whether I want to upload it, see, um, but it's, it's to do with something that happened to me, it's quite painful in my childhood, so a long time ago, I suppose all of us have kind of like childhood memories of one sort or another, but uh, this one is particularly sort of a bit upsetting. Um, like I said, I mean, I'll, I'll think about it and then if I want to upload it, I'll upload it. If not, then I'm sorry, but, um, that's the end of this particular video. Okay. I'm going to go around, I'm gonna go, I'll, I'll go somewhere a bit quieter actually because there's, um, there's a bit of a main road here. There's also security guards that don't know the bleeding lot. They, they try to stop you filming on a public street, which is nonsense. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut the camera now and then we'll carry on later. Carry on in a moment. Okay. Thanks for watching Hapanwo TV. Hospital Port's pride and dignity stop the New World Order.